I just got home from seeing the new Bollywood film Fighter, so let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Sean and I love to talk about movies and TV way too much. With that in mind, go ahead and join me down below in the comments section. Share your thoughts on Fighter. As a point of reference, I'm fairly new to Indian cinema. My wife and I saw RRR back in 2022. We really enjoyed it. So we've been trying to watch more Indian films since then. And for about the last six months, we've been heading out to the theater to see a new Indian film about, about once per month. And so I've been able to put out several reviews over the last little bit, a couple of ranks rankings in there, just trying to discover more and watch more films. So you can check that out in the playlist right around here. With that said, let's get started with the good. Probably one of the biggest things working in the film's favor is that there's simply not very many jet fighter movies out there. The most famous, of course, are the Top Gun films. Those are the standard and Top Gun Maverick was a fantastic film, and so naturally, anytime a jet fighter film comes out, anytime around a Top Gun film, you're gonna draw comparisons. But at the same time, when you have kind of a category of film where there's just not very many movies, it's nice to have something besides just movies starring Top Gun. It's nice to see other people in jet fighters handled different ways. And, you know, when you have a movie as good as Top Gun Maverick, by comparison, it's, they're not going to be as good, but it doesn't need to be. It, you, not every movie has to be the best of the genre. And so it's just nice to have another Jet Fighter movie and a move, Jet Fighter movie that has a different kind of flavor to it, a different set of rules with the way that it does things, the way that it kind of plays around with the physics of the ships and what they're able to do. And you kind of have the the... One of the things that's appealing to, to Bollywood films is that they just kind of really go for it with treating your the, the stars as kind of superheroes. And so tr doing that with a jet fighter where they're flipping planes all around and inverting them and doing all sorts of crazy stuff, it adds kind of a new level of entertainment into the scenarios and seeing different types of things in them. Likewise, along those same lines, while it is another jet fighter film, it has several other kind of elements to it where there's, it's very much combined with the team with the helicopter pilots, the commandos on the ground. And so it's not just jet fighter action. You also have helicopters doing stuff. You have ground fights, you have machine gun battles, and you have a boss fight at the end of the movie. So lots of kind of stuff to engage with in the film. And uh, other thing that kind of, uh, you know, appreciate about a lot of Indian films is that they're just very earnest with their uh, emotions in, in ways that, you know, Hollywood would frequently consider to be just too melodramatic. There's something very refreshing about a movie that isn't being, doesn't feel the need to be subtle or about what it's trying to do with the characters. And, and it plays them with such sincerity. They're not, it's not winking at the camera. And so you, you have these arcs for each of the characters where there's some deep, personal, very human journey for them. So our lead uh, actress in the film, that uh, she has a journey related to her trying to do what she felt was right and trying to earn the respect of her parents. It's, it's very simple and straightforward, but it's, it's done with such sincerity. Likewise, just at the core of it, our lead character cares deeply about his team, deeply about people and struggles with, has his choices co had consequences for those around him, but he cares deeply about them. So when you have moments of victory, when you have moments of failure, you, you feel it in the moment. Um, it, it carries a weight to it because it's just so authentic and sincere with what it's trying to do. Now, the lead guy here, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to try and say his first name because I, honest, I don't know how to pronounce it. I tried to watch some interviews, but I don't think I would be able to do justice. But Roshan, I've uh, seen him. Uh, the only other movie I've seen him in was uh, War, uh, when I watched through all the movies in that shared universe. 
And uh, immediately he was a guy that kind of stuck out to me. It's kind of has eyes that are just very piercing and kind of stand out as soon as you see them. And so like he was the standout for me when I watched the movie War. And kind of the thing that when I saw that they're doing a jet fighter movie uh, that he's starring, I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I'd like to see him in something else. And you know, he gets plenty of moments to have lots of charm. And they, they kind of totally play it as a big joke and his ability to just smile and say please and get away with things. There's something fun with that. Um, but, um, you know, he, he's, he's given his moments to, to be charming, but also have heartbreaks and like, conviction trying to save people and you you get a lot of kind of those those moments in, in what it's trying to c communicate in the film um other thing kind of comes to mind um i don't know just like kind of paced out nicely where it has a number of dog fights in the sky um ground fights air-to-air -air missiles chases explosions it has a nice pacing out of the action in the film so it kind of moves at a nice pace and even kind of communicates information at, at good time so I, I like for my wife and i i felt like we had a, a good time watching it that it was um we didn't have particularly big expectations going into it just knew another jet fighter movie and it, it seemed like both of us kind of had the proper reaction that we were supposed to have to the film from there, let's move on to the bad. And the big thing that comes to mind here is that it's pretty predictable with kind of everything that's going to happen in the movie. Uh, you, you pretty well always know where things are headed. The obvious comparison, of course, is Top Gun. And there is a lot of Top Gun in here. There's even just like the little specific things, iconic images from Top Gun of aviators riding on a motorcycle with the girl uh it's all in here even stuff where maverick in top gun is famous for like when he comes in requesting to do something controversial so he does the fly by the tower and makes the guy rock his coffee when our lead character is introduced here he does his own kind of thing to show that he does that and it's the same kind of beat same thing that you get in top gun and when you have so few movies in the same category, jet fighter movies, and you're seeing like motorcycle, like there's like even our lead character is very much a maverick. <laughs> he, he does his own. He's the best pilot, but he does it his own way. Like Maverick, a lot of those similarities. There's a section in it that goes back to training school which is what Top Gun is. It's just a lot of things that very reminiscent of Top Gun and even outside of being reminiscent, you just know exactly what's going to happen in the movie. And you know it, it delivers, it worked well enough, but it's not a movie that had too many surprises. Like pretty much everything you could see coming. You're not like, wow, what on, what happened here? You're like, no, that's that's kind of what I expected that to happen in the film. Other thing, kind of when it came to the, the look, the visuals, uh, just inherently the jet fighters look cartoonish. And it's a little bit tricky when you just, you've we've seen Top Gun, and it was looked flawless. So our, the obvious point of comparison is perfection. Um, inherently, you can't compare. So it, it didn't bother me too much. But there were definitely parts where it's like, okay, that was cartoonish. That that looks a little bit off. And um, you know, in particular, when you start getting into the third act, there's certain shots that are just kind of so over the top with what they did that. Um, you know, pulled me out of it just a little bit. I was like, okay, all right. I, I, I know we want to do something wild to close things out, but it looks too much like a cartoon there. And so parts of it just didn't look all that great with kind of the cinematography, the, the, the way that characters are lit in the environments that they're in. You could just tell something's not quite art, oh, right. It's like, it looks artificial enough that, you know that you're seeing a person in a, a fake environment being imposed into a jet fighter or onto the location that they're at. So several parts kind of had the, uh, an artificial look to them. Overall, I had a good time with the movie. It didn't break any new ground in the realm of jet fighter movies, but 
it's nice to have another one that so honest in its treatment and sincere and earnest in its treatment of its characters, their emotions, their connections to each other that, you know, leads to a satisfying con conclusion, has quite a bit of, you know, emotional payoff in a number of the different circumstances. Overall, I'd give this one a B and I, I had a good time with it. My wife had a good time with it. I, I would say I enjoyed it more than last year's Patan. I believe that's from the same director. Um, not one of the, like one of my favorites of the Indian films that I've seen, but one one that I enjoyed kind of distinctly middle of the pack. And because it's a jet fighter movie, it probably stands out a little bit more for that reason. You can check out my other Indian reviews right over there in that playlist. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies and TV too much.